Mother School presenta la grabación de su curso de inglés. Es importante que usted tenga muy en cuenta lo siguiente. Cuide sus cassettes para que pueda usarlos muchas veces. Evite polvo, humedad, golpes. Recuerde que la proximidad de imanes borra la grabación. No abuse del sistema de retroceso o avance rápido, ya que ello estira la cinta, perdiéndose la calidad de la grabación y por consiguiente falseando la pronunciación. No lo preste, ya que la duración no es ilimitada. En los cassettes aparecen grabadas las partes más importantes de cada lección. Debe tener a mano la lección correspondiente para ir leyendo lo que escucha en la grabación. Entre lección y lección se ha grabado una cortina musical para que usted sepa que debe pasar a la lección siguiente. Las grabaciones han sido efectuadas utilizando voces nativas americanas. Como usted sabe, la forma de pronunciar varía considerablemente de uno a otro estado. La pronunciación que hemos grabado corresponde al inglés más correcto. Le deseamos el mayor de los éxitos en sus estudios. Su perseverancia y dedicación le permitirán dominar en poco tiempo los secretos de este idioma universal. Lesson 1, page 3. Hello, I am Mark Conrad. I am a mechanic. I am American. I live in Miami. I speak English. I speak American English. You speak Spanish. You study English. I help you study English. Please listen to me. This is a book. It is an English book. It is an English course book. Study it every day. This is a notebook. This is a notebook. It is an English notebook. It is an English course notebook. Use it every day. Here is my wife, Bridget Conrad. She is French. And here are two friends. This is Pablo Robles. He too is a mechanic. Pablo and I work in a garage. We work together. This is Mrs. Robles. Rosa Robles and my wife are good friends. We are all good friends. Rosa and Pablo Robles are Mexican, but they live in Miami. They speak Spanish and a little English. They study English at modern schools. They are English students. You are an English student too. Now, repeat after me. Hello. I am Mark Conrad. I am a mechanic. I am American. I live in Miami. 
I speak English. I speak American English. You speak Spanish. You study English. I help you study English. Please listen to me. This is a book. It is an English book. It is an English course book. Study it every day. This is a notebook. It is an English notebook. It is an English course notebook. Use it every day. Here is my wife, Bridget Conrad. She is French. And here are two friends. This is Pablo Robles. He too is a mechanic. Pablo and I work in a garage. We work together. This is Mrs. Robles. Rosa Robles and my wife are good friends. We are all good friends. Rosa and Pablo Robles are Mexican, but they live in Miami. They speak Spanish and a little English. They study English at modern schools. They are English students. You are an English student too. Lesson 1, page 7. Need help? Mark, I need a notebook. Only a notebook? Yes, an English notebook. I need it to study my English lesson. Here is a notebook. Take it. Need help? No, thank you. All I need is a notebook. Lesson 1, page 4. Mexican or American? My parents and friends are in Monterey. They are Mexican. I am Mexican, too. No, Pablo. Look, you live and work in the United States. You are American now. Take this, Mark. It is my book. It is in Spanish. And this is my boy. He is Mexican. This 
is my little girl. She is Mexican. We are all Mexican. Pablo, listen to me. The U.S. is a country of immigrants. You are Mexican, but you are American too now. You are a new American. You are right. I study English and I listen to American music. I live here and I work here. I am a Mexican American now. Lesson one, page eight. Pronunciation tips. The English R. Repeat after me. American. Never. Story. Here. Every. Friend. Work. R. Repeat. Together. Correct. Parents. Garage. Girl. Incorrect. Lesson one, page nine. New in the neighborhood. The neighbors talk about Pablo. Mark, Susan, and Jack live in North Miami Beach. Pablo and Rosa Robles live in North Miami Beach too. They are new in the neighborhood. They speak only. A little English, and they are the only Latin family in the neighborhood. Mark is the only American friend they have. All the neighbors talk about Pablo. The new neighbor is strange. The new neighbor. Pablo Robles. Yes, Pablo Robles, and Mrs. Robles too. Take a close look. They are all day inside the house. They never speak to the neighbors. They only talk to you. They. Are Latin American, and they have a problem. All the neighbors talk about it. A problem? Yes. Here's the story. Pablo is an illegal worker. Oh, this is absurd. Pablo is a legal resident. We work together at the garage. He is a good worker and a great friend. You must take a close look. Here is the inside story. Pablo and Rosa are Mexican. They feel confused. By Americans and the English language, they speak a little English, and they study it little by little. But they feel it is too late to speak it correctly. But it's never too late. To speak English, all they need is help and 
practice. Yes, practice. They have to practice every day. Mark, you have to introduce Pablo and Rosa to the neighbors. Yes, Mark, you must. Okay, okay, but little by little. Lesson two, page three. Introduction. I'm at home with my family. My American friends think it's a big family. I have four children, three boys, and a girl. I'm the father, and Rosa, my wife, is the mother. We're the parents. We're Mexican, but the children are American. We are all in the living room with Mark. He's our only friend in the neighborhood. Now, repeat after me. I'm at home with my family. My American friends think it's a big family. I have four children, three boys and a girl. I'm the father and Rosa, my wife, is the mother. We're the parents. We're Mexican, but the children are American. We're all in the living room with Mark. He's our only friend in the neighborhood. Dialogue. So many children. Are they all your children? Yes, they're all our children. Are they all boys? No, they're not all boys. We have three sons and a daughter. You have a big family. Is it big? Oh, yes. It's big. My wife and I have only one child. A son. No, it's not a big family. My husband and I like children. She's right. It's not a big family. It's big for the United States. Lesson two, page four. The children meet. 
Are you Miguel or Jaime Robles? I'm Miguel. He's Jaime. We're brothers. And the girl? She's Maria. She's my sister. You're Philip Conrad, right? Yes. I'm Philip Conrad. I'm an only child. My parents know your parents. Yes, they're good friends. Lesson two, page six. Grandparents need grandchildren. Are you happy here with four children? Yes, we're happy here, but we need our parents. Are your parents in Mexico? Yes, they're in Monterey. Are your parents here? No, they're not here. They're in an old age home in New York. Oh, Mark, it's wrong to have your parents in an old age home. Is it wrong? Yes, it's wrong. Think of their feelings. And think of your child. Children need grandparents, and grandparents need grandchildren. Am I right, Pablo? Yes, you're right. No, you're not right. You're wrong. Grandparents need special attention. Right, and family attention is very special attention. Lesson two, page seven. Questions about the family. Is your son at home? No. He's not at home. He's at the park. Is your wife with your son? Yes, she's always with our son. Are they with your parents? No, they're not with my parents. My parents are in New York. Are they happy in New York? Yes, they're happy in New York. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I think they're happy. They say they're happy, but I'm not sure they're happy. Lesson two. Page eight. Pronunciation tips. Repeat after me. T H. This. The. They. Their. Father. Mother. Brother. Is this the Robles family? No, this is the Collins family. Is this the sister? No, this is the brother. Is this their father? No, 
This is their mother. Attention. The American. But the boy. The English books. But the book. The outdoors. The home. Hello. Are you alone? Yes, I am. Good. I wanted to talk to you. I think I know you. Are you and Mary friends? Yes, we are. Her brother. Is my boyfriend? Are you and Francis friends? No, we're not. But we go to the same school. My name is Jack. I'm Nancy. This is good music. Yes. It is. It's an excellent band. I love to dance. Is your boyfriend jealous? Yes, he is, but he isn't here. Well, let's dance then. Okay. Let's dance. At an office party. Hi. Are you new here? Yes, I am. I'm the new secretary. Are you new here too? No, I'm not. But. I work in another office. I'm the cashier. My name is Philip, and my friend here is Peter. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Jackie. Hello. Nice party. Isn't it? 
Oh, yes. I love parties. Everyone is so friendly at parties. Yes, that's true. I like parties, too. But I'm tired now. It must be late. Oh, no. It's not late. The night is young. She's right, Peter. The party just started. Let's all have a drink together. At a cocktail party. Look at that woman. Is she Mrs. Colby? No, she isn't. She's Mrs. Davis. Oh, is she a guest? No, she isn't. She's the hostess. And her husband is the host. Is that man her husband? Yes. He is. He's a lawyer. Oh, I remember. His wife is a doctor. Am I right? No, you're not. She's an interior decorator. Mrs. Colby is a doctor. Lesson three. Page 5. A New Year's Eve Party. Look at this picture. Is it a party? Yes, it is. Is it a birthday party? No, it isn't. It's a New Year's Eve party. Is the party Big? Yes, it is. The party is big and noisy. Are Michael and Martha in the party? Yes, they are. Are they talking? No, they're not. They're dancing. Is Francis interested? In Mirtha? Yes, he is. Is Gloria jealous? Yes, she is. Is Barbara on the sofa? No, she isn't. She's at the door. Is Charlie drunk? Yes, he is. Is William drunk? No, he isn't. He's sober. Are they happy? Yes, they are. They're all happy. Lesson 3, page 7. My sister loves music. She plays the piano very well. And... She is taking guitar lessons. She and my cousin work at a music store. They sell musical instruments. Her husband is not a musician. He is a car salesman. He sells used cars. My sister has a daughter and a son. Her son studies mathematics at the university. And her daughter speaks three languages. Now, repeat after me. My sister loves music. She plays the piano very well. And
And she is taking guitar lessons. She and my cousin work at a music store. They sell musical instruments. Her husband is not a musician. He is a car salesman. He sells used cars. My sister has a daughter and a son. Her son studies mathematics at the university. And her daughter speaks three languages. Lesson 3, page 8. Pronunciation tips. Repeat after me. Spanish. Study. Start. Sport. Spanish. School. Store. Student. Still. Spanish. Square. Smile. Spanish. Lesson 3, page 9. Hey, Pablo. Congratulations. Congratulations? Yes, the news is out. I hear your English is much better now. Anne tells me that she understands everything you say. And she says you speak to the neighbors every day. Congratulations again. Thank you, Richard. Now I practice every day with my neighbors. Thanks to their patience, my English is improving. And your wife, Pablo? Oh, she's home. She still feels like a square peg in a round hole. She is very shy, and she imagines things. She thinks the neighbors consider her a bad apple. I'm sorry to hear that, Pablo. You know we all like her. Yes, I know. I am very worried. I think she wants out. She wants out? Yes, she wants to return to Mexico. Pablo, she has to come out of her shell. Tell her to keep an open mind. We all want to help her. She's invited to a New Year's party with my family next week. Don't forget, my wife wants to borrow a recipe.
Lesson 4, Page 1. The Colors. Repeat after me. White. Black. Blue. Yellow. Red. Purple. Brown. Green. Orange. Gray. Lesson 4, page 5. What color is the table? It's brown. And the door? It's light blue. What color are the chairs? The chairs are red and green. And the rug? It's purple. Dark purple. Numbers. Repeat after me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Lesson four, page three. At the store. Excuse me, ma'am. Who's the sales clerk here? I am. May I help you? Yes, please. What is this? That is a floor lamp. Where are the table lamps, please? They're on that desk. The yellow desk? No, the blue desk. Oh, yes, I see it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The colors. Hello, Pablo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm studying my English lesson. Let's practice together. Okay, I'm studying the colors in English. Very well, let's see. What color are the walls? The walls are white. And what color are the lamps? The lamps are red. They are dark red. What color is the table? The table is brown. It is light brown. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. It's the color of hope. And what is your favorite color, Mark? I like all colors, except purple. I think purple is an ugly color. Yes, what an ugly color. Let's continue. What color is the rug? The rug is gray. No, Pablo, you're wrong. The rug is orange. Yes, you're right. The rug is orange. The telephone is black. 
The couch is blue. But I want to stop now. To stop? Are you bored? No, I'm not bored. I'm just tired. In the street. Excuse me, sir. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? It's late. It's not so late. How old are you? I'm thirteen years old. Only thirteen? Then it's very late. Run home, boy. Lesson four, page seven. Introducing a friend. Hello, Pablo. How are you? Fine, thank you. How do you do? Fine, thanks. May I introduce you to a friend? Certainly, Pablo. This is Jackie. Jackie, this is Pablo. I'm glad to meet you. My pleasure. Excuse me, Mark. What time is it? I beg your pardon. I said, what time is it? Oh, it's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? I have to go. Goodbye, Jackie. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Pablo. Goodbye. Lesson four. Page eight. Pronunciation tips. Repeat after me. Thanks. Think. Birthday. Three. Thirteen. Kathy. Month. With. This month is my birthday. I think Kathy prepared a big party. She invited three boys and thirteen girls. Thanks, Kathy. Lesson four, page nine. Just what the doctor ordered. Hello, Peter. Oh, hello, Donald. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I just heard the latest news from the grapevine. Really. What's the latest news from the grapevine? They say you are learning Spanish now. Yes, I am. I want to learn Spanish because my girlfriend is Puerto Rican. She only speaks a little English, and her parents only speak. Spanish. Their last name is Figueroa. You must be studying very hard. You look tired. I'm tired. I studied all night last night. I want to ask her parents for her hand, but I am nervous. I have to learn how to nail down an idea in Spanish, and it is very difficult. Well, Peter, no matter how you slice it, you need help. Maybe you're right, but all my friends are American, and they only 
speak English. Take it easy, Peter. My friend, Pablo, is Mexican, and he is very friendly. I am sure he can help you. He can talk to her parents for you. Oh, that's a horse of a different color. Please introduce me to Pablo. Sure. And now, what you need is a drink. Your problem is solved. A drink. That's just what the doctor ordered. Thank you.